Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this one I've kindly been sent um, this set by Model Wands. So this is a builder nail gel kit. So this is the builder in a bottle um, that I am going to be trying today. So we're going to be unboxing this and having a look at everything that you get in the kit. And then um, as you can see these nails definitely need some attention so I'm going to try it on my nails today. Okay, so this is what is inside the box. We've got a mini lamp. Oh, look at that, a meow lamp. So it's like a little cat lamp. Let's have a look at this. And they've got all of the social media and everything on there as well. Okay, so you get your USB cable. And that's like a standard C one. This is really cute. I really like this. So you can see the four LEDs there. And it's quite, it's quite sturdy. Got a little instruction book, a user manual. Right, so you press it once and it's on for 60 seconds, then you press it again and it turns it off. But if you long press it for about 1.5 seconds, then it goes on to 90 seconds. So I'll leave that out of the box because we will be using that soon. Right, so I'm just gonna bring the box back and see what else. So we've got some nail forms. Now, I'm not going to be using these today because um, I have trouble with nail forms because I have um, very high hypernichiums, which is the part under your nail here, and that grows out quite a bit, so it, I can't really get forms under there. It's quite difficult. I can use them, but it's a bit of a faff. So we've got a file, a nail file, so that's 100, 180. And then we've got a little bag here with, I think, our base and top coats. So, oh, that's a primer. That's good. Um, base coat and top coat. So, so this is how to use the gels. How to do your prep and how to use the forms. Okay, so these are the Builder in a Bottle gels. So they're all 7 mil. Yeah, so you've got these are all 10 mil. And these are seven mil, so they are slightly smaller. So yeah, it's a nice little kit to just try all the colours if you want to. I'm not sure if you can get bigger bottles in these gels. I will have to check. Right, so, oh, and you also get the colour and the number on top. So yeah, what I didn't mention, if they are builder in a bottle, these gels, but they're seven in one. I'm going to put um, a little picture up on the screen of what's on their website showing you what the seven different functions are. So let's get the swatch sticks out and we'll swatch them all and then I'll decide what colours I'm using. So yeah, the website and Amazon say eight in one and not seven in one, but I don't think that really matters. Um, so yeah, this kit is actually from Amazon, um, not directly from the website, um, but it has been provided to me by Model Ones themselves. Um, so yeah when i was using and swatching them the creamy consistency is what i like they're really easy to use and i do really like the formula that they've used so yeah swatching them was easy these colors are absolutely beautiful i did think that the colors were going to be um from the pictures that i saw before i got the kit i thought the gels were going to be more sheer but they're not, they're actually quite opaque and that's really good, that's really what I wanted so I was super impressed with them, I absolutely love the colours and it's going to be really difficult to choose uh, which colours I'm actually going to put on my nails so I will put links in the description box for this particular kit there is um this kit comes in two different colors so I got sort of the pink set and you can get a set that's more sort of nude tone colors but apart from that everything is exactly the same that you get in the kit so yeah that will be in my description box it'll also be on my Amazon storefront there will be a link to that in my description box as well and I do have if you want to get something straight off the website I do have a discount code for model ones so that will be in the description box as well
So here they are together, all swatched. I can't believe how nice these colours are. There is a colour for everyone, you know, everyone's skin tone. Um, so yeah, I need to decide which I'm going to put on my nails. I, and then I decided after that I was going to do a French design, like a reverse French. So I wanted the most pink, the most pinky pink, and I wanted to use the white as well. So that's what I went with. Okay, so it's time to do this on my nails now. So I'm going to take you through step by step exactly what I'm doing. My nails have already been prepped. I've already pushed the cuticles back and scraped any dead skin off and given them a buff before I put the primer on. And then I'm going in with the base coat on the tip of my nail because I'm going to use these little tips. And I'm also putting some of the base coat inside the tip because you can use the base coat as a nail glue as well if you're using a, one of these little lamps. So I just place the tip on where I want it and then I flash cure it for about three seconds and then I go in with my little clamp and that just um, sort of squashes the tip down on the edges of my nails so that it stays where I want it and there aren't little flared out bits at the sides. And then I give it a longer cure and I'm doing that for all of the nails but I'm only showing you me doing it on two. So then after I've got tips on all of the nails, I am just shortening them a bit and filing them and making sure that they are flush with my natural nail. And then I'm going in over all of the nails with the base coat and I'm making sure that that's as thin as possible and I'm really scrubbing it in to those nails so that I get a good adhesion with the colour gel when that goes on. So you want your base coat to be really thin, you don't want a thick base coat. So then I'm going in with the colour gel, so I'm painting that on just like I would gel polish and I'm just putting the shape of the nail bed that I want onto that nail with that colour gel so that I can see where it is. And then also a very important step is I'm using my detailer brush and I'm going around the sides of the nail and the cuticle area getting that as flush down the side and at the cuticle as I can. And then I'm using a clean up brush just to curve the nail bed to exactly the right shape. And then that gets cured in the lamp. And then I'm doing the same on the ring finger. And then that is just sort of the basis for the nail bed. So that is quite a thin covering for the first layer. And then the second layer that I'm doing, I'm only showing you me doing the pinky finger and the ring finger. So the second layer is going to be a sort of semi-thick layer, which is my slip layer. And that is being painted over the whole of the nail bed area. And then I'm using a, th a bigger bead and I'm putting that on at the cuticle area. And then I am feathering that from side to side until I cover all of the nail bed. And because I put that slip layer down first, the gel's gonna go exactly where I want it to and it's not gonna flood the cuticle as long as I don't put too much on. So keeping the nail pointed downwards helps it to flow a little bit in the right direction. It flows down instead of across your nail. And then I use the clean up brush just to clean up the nail bed curve so it's in the shape that I want and then I put my nail upside down for a few seconds just to make sure that the gel is mainly in that apex area and that's the area where I want most of the gel to be and then it gets cured in the lamp for a full 60 seconds and then I'm doing exactly the same with the ring finger so that is the first and second layer already on And then I'm going in with the final layer. So again, I'm doing exactly the same steps. I'm putting a slip layer down, which is sort of a semi-thick layer. And that stays wet. I don't cure that. And then I add a bigger bead straight on top of that. And then I feather that down the nail bed, 
keeping the right shape and then I use my detailer brush just to make sure it's flush at the cuticle and it's down the sides and then I do put that on upside down for a few seconds before I just place it in the lamp and then do exactly the same with the ring finger and if you do it like this and you make sure that you're careful where your gel placement is you won't have to do a lot of cleanup and you won't have to do a lot of filing at the end either so the reason that I'm only putting it on the nail bed is because we are going to go in with the white on the tips and I'm not just painting that on because it is quite a sheer gel that is going to go on quite thickly at the tips. So then after I've done that on all of the nails I am spraying them with some alcohol and wiping the inhibition layer off the gel which is the sticky layer that's always on the top when you've cured because I don't want that to get in the file. So then I'm taking the file and I'm just filing that nail bed into the shape so that I want it. So you want, if you can see when I've done them all, you want sort of a wall around that nail bed curve so that the white gel can flush up against that and it's going to be a nice clean line when you're finished. So the white is number 28. And I'm starting with a very thin coat and I'm painting that on and then I'm using my detailer brush to make sure it gets right up to that wall and I'm not going to have any gaps where there's no gel and I'm not going to have any air bubbles. So after I've done that I leave that wet and then I put a bit more of the gel on top so that that follows where that gel already is on the slip layer. And then when I'm happy with that, I do cure that, but I'm just showing you from the side to show you that it is going to be done in two layers because there isn't enough gel on to take it right up to where the nail bed is. So I do exactly the same on the ring finger. And then when I've done that, I go in with a second layer. And again, I'm just showing you the pinky and the ring finger. So this next layer is just going to take it up to where that nail bed is and I actually do go a little bit over the nail bed just to make sure there aren't any gaps and this doesn't matter at all because when I file the nail that's going to be filed off any excess and you're just left with a really crisp French line. So they do look a bit chunky when they're all done. But well, that's fine because we are going to file them into shape. So I'm just showing you the pinky finger, just a little bit of the filing. So I start with the sides, make sure that they are all flush and straight. And then I go over the surface of the nail, being gentle around the cuticle area. And I did season this file because it's a new file. So you just go around the edges of your new file with an old file just to file off any sharp bits. Otherwise you will cut yourself. And then I go all around the cuticle area in the side walls and then the top of the nail just to get the right shape. And then I go in with a buffer on all of the nails just to get rid of any of those scratch marks that I've put in with the file. And then I get rid of any dust by spraying with some alcohol and then using my nail brush and then just wiping all that off. And then it's time for the top coat. So as you can see, we've got a really lovely crisp French now. And I'm just going to use the top coat to go over. And you can see how those look. And I am so impressed with these colours of the gels. I really, really love this set. So it doesn't look too much in your face. It's really, I think the colours are really subtle, even though I did choose the, the pinkest pink of the gels. I am thinking of doing a baby boomer set with these gels, but using one of the more peachy pinks to go with the white. But yeah, I really love this French and I'm not doing anything else to it. I'm not putting any nail art or any rhinestones or anything on that because there are people that just like the nails to be like this, just a nice crisp French with nothing else on. You know, if you're an office worker or something like that, you might like these nails. So that is all the top coat on and this is how they look. So I really am in love with these nails. I think they are gorgeous and they're not too, the apex isn't too high. They're a real natural shape 
And obviously you could do that with forms. You don't have to do it with tips the way I did, or you can just do it straight on top of your natural nails. The only reason I didn't was because mine were very, very short and I did want that extra French tip. So like I said earlier, links to this product will be in the description box and also in my Amazon storefront. But if you search Model Ones, this will come up in their kits and you can go to the Model Ones store on Amazon and that will bring you to this kit as well. So I want to say a big thank you to Model Ones for sending this out to me. I absolutely loved it and I will be using it again. I would definitely recommend it. Do you like this French? What do you think? So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.